All samples of concrete must be obtained and prepared in accordance with BSEN 12350 Part 1. Using a scoop, place the concrete in the container in such a way as to remove as much trapped air as possible. Place the concrete in three layers, approximately equal in depth. Compact the concrete immediately after placing it in the container in such a way as to produce full compaction of the concrete, with neither excessive segregation nor latence. Compact each layer by using one of the specified methods. A compacting bar is the most commonly used method in the UK. Distribute the strokes of the bar in a uniform manner over the cross section of the mould. Make sure that the bar does not forcibly strike the bottom of the container when compacting the first layer and does not significantly penetrate any previous layer. Subject the concrete to at least 25 strokes per layer. In order to remove pockets of trapped air, but not the entrained air, tap the sides of the container smartly with the mallet after compaction of each layer, until large bubbles of air are no longer appearing on the surface and depressions left by the compacting bar have been removed. Thoroughly clean the flanges of the container and cover the assembly. Clamp the cover assembly in place. Ensure that there is a good seal between the cover and the container. Close the main air valve and open valve A and valve B. Pour water through either valve A or B until water emerges from the other valve. Tap the apparatus with the mallet until all trapped air has been expelled. Close the air bleeder valves on the air chamber and pump air in until the hand on the pressure gauge is on the initial pressure line. Further pumping in or bleeding off of air may be necessary to locate the hand correctly. During this process, lightly tap the gauge. Open the main air valve and record the indicated value, which is the apparent percentage of air. To calculate the air content, the aggregate correction factor should be subtracted from the apparent percentage of air and expressed to the nearest 0.1%. The following information must be included in the test report. 